Good morning everyone. This is Kagi. Today is the story time. I will tell you a story about a rainbow fish. Do you want to listen a story? Let's start. Kids, do you know we will learn a lesson from this story? Let's enjoy the story. Today's story is very beautiful and colorful story about a rainbow fish. So, our story name is a rainbow fish. Far away in a deep blue ocean, there was a fish. Her name is rainbow fish. She is the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. All the other fishes want her beautiful scales and they call her rainbow fish. Here are other fish like the yellow fish and the green fish. All the fishes were friends. They will play with her. They will call her. Hey rainbow fish. Where are you going? Let's play with us. But one day, a fish came to the rainbow fish and said, Hey rainbow fish, would you give me one, one of your scales, please? Rainbow fish was shocked to hear that and become very angry and sad. You want to me share my beautiful scales with you? No way. I am the most beautiful fish in the ocean. I will not share my scales with you. None of, none of the fishes are as beautiful as I am. The poor yellow fish and the green fish was very sad. Rainbow fish shouted and said, Go away! I will not share my scales. And rainbow fish moved in the ocean. Then the other fish friend asked, Hey blue fish, hey yellow fish, why you are so sad? What happened? Yellow fish start crying and said, You know, rainbow fish is very rude to me. She didn't want to share her scale with me. Then all the other fishes were very sad and they were decided, We are not going to play with rainbow fish anymore. And start ignoring her. Then, rainbow fish was loneliest fish in the entire ocean. Nobody wants to play with me. What should I do? She then she got an idea. I have one friend. She went to starfish and said, "Hello, starfish." And the starfish said, "Hello, rainbow fish." What happened? Why you are so sad? Then rainbow fish said, Nobody wants to play with me. Everybody just going away from me. I am so alone. Help me starfish. Please help me. Then starfish said, Behind a cave, there is a wise octopus live. Perhaps he could help you. Then rainbow fish was very happy. It's a good idea. Then rainbow fish swam, swam. Then she reached to octopus. Mr. Octopus, hello Mr. Octopus. Do you know about me? I am very sad. Octopus said, no need to tell me anything. I know your story. I can help you. Please tell me, Mr. Octopus, what should I do? Then Octopus said, You have to share your beautiful scales with the other fish. 
If you wanted to be a friend, she said, "No way. I will not share my scales. They are just mine." The octopus moved away. Then yellow fish and a green fish came again and said, with a sweet smile. Would you like to share one of your tiny scales with Mr. Rain, the rainbow fish? But she said no, no way. But then she thought, if I will give one of my tiny scale, there is no difference in my beauty. I am still the beautiful fish in the ocean. Then she decided to give one scale to her. Now you have one scale. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Fish. I am so happy now. So thank you. And she gave one scale to her. Both the fishes were very happy and said, "Thank you, Rainbow Fish." Rainbow Fish said, "Oh, sharing makes me happy. I am very happy now." Then other fish came to her and said, "Thank you, Rainbow Fish. You are my friend. You are our friend now. Let's play." Oh, I am so sorry that I was so rude with you all. She said, "When I have started sharing my skills with all, they all are starting playing with me. Happiness is all around." Then she learned a lesson of life that sharing is a sharing is caring. Sharing makes us really happy. So just like Rainbow Fish shared her scale with all friends, we should also share our things with our friends. We should share our things with our friends in the classroom, at home. With our cousins, with our teacher, you must share a big one. Just a way rainbow fish is happy. Trust me, if you are starting sharing your things with the everyone, it will really make you happy. So today we all have learned a lesson: sharing is caring. So kids, hope you liked today's story. Okay, bye bye.